Hey you guys, um, I'm busy assembling a little Ford Rocam engine, 1.3 liter Rocam engine. You will find them in the Ford KA, the Fiesta, I think, um, the Figo and, and some of the Bantams. So what happened with this one, uh, it's a lady's car, she said she was driving and all of a sudden the car just stopped. She asked me to have a, have a look and I found that um, all the valves were bent. And um, with, well, in this video, I'll show you how to do the timing of it, but I'll also show you um, why the valves bent in the first place. So this is the front of the engine. Um, there's the little timing sprocket gear. There's the one guide. It's a plastic guide. There's the other plastic guide. So on, on this one, the bottom broke. See there, the bottom broke out. And it must have moved up to there. And then the chain got slack and um, it jumped a tooth or two and it bent the valve. So in my opinion, I don't think this is a brilliant design because it can happen, I suppose, at any time. Um, I'm gonna replace both, they do come in a kit. Um, once I've put them in and I've put the chain in, I'll show you how we do the timing on it. So when I took the sample, this is what I found in the oil pickup. It's part of the timing chain guide. It broke, ended up in a pump. So this has to come off and flush it out properly, clean it out properly before you put it back. So I've replaced that guide, uh, both of them. This one has got like a rubbery substance on it. Um, it gets pushed by the tension on top. And this one is just plastic, nasty old plastic. But anyway, uh, you've got to get your engine on PDC. And I've already done that before I put the cylinder head on. Um, but if you don't know where your piston is, that keyway there, if that's on top, your piston will be on top. Uh, number one piston and number four piston, obviously. Um, but to make sure it's properly on TDC, you have to put the oil pump on because the marking is on the oil pump. So I'll put the oil pump on quickly and show you. So, okay, I've now put the oil pump on just with two screws because it's going to come off again, annoyingly. Um, and there's the mark that you're after. That there and that there, then you know you're on TDC. You can also check through a plug hole or something like that. Make sure your piston is on top, but if that's lined up, you're on TDC. Or piston one. Um, now we have to get to the cam. So just make sure all your little hydraulic lifters are in and all the cam followers are in, uh, uh, the, your uh, roller rockers, and then the cam is going to go in. Um, so remember it's top on rock four. So rock four means those two will be, if you turn it a little that way, it will be exhaust stroke, Exhaust valve open, little that way inlet valve open, or actually vice versa, that little that way inlet valve, little that way exhaust valve. And this will be in compression, in other words, the two lobes got to be on top. And luckily Ford gave us a pin there to, to do that, and that little pin to view that is correct. Make sure you've got oil in there. And that's how the cam will go in. Um, now we've got to slowly tighten all of those. If you don't do it like this, when the cylinder head is on and your pistons are on top, you will bend your valves. So make sure it's in this position and start tightening it down slowly. I'll do that quickly. So, okay, I've tightened the cam, made sure that that little low was on the top, um, like I showed you. And I've actually put the chain on. So what the manufacturer also did is they, um, they marked three links. See that one is a copper color and there's a little line there. So you just put that in line with that. You can't get it wrong. Um, remember that's got to be on top, obviously, your keyway, because you've now checked TDC and all of that. And then um, on the top you do, I'll show you now. So on the top pulley, it's got a little arrow and the two uh, marked links has got to be in the middle of the arrow. And then you know your timing is right. Um, I would still, after you've talked all your nuts, I would still, just turn the engine around once or twice to make sure everything is free before you put this in the car. Um, but it's very simple actually. So that's how you do the timing on these little Rocam Ford engines. A um, little over complicated if you ask me. They could have, I think they could have made it a bit better, especially with these plastic guides. I don't like it. Uh, but who am I? Um, yes, if, if that plastic guide didn't break, this lady would have probably still be riding a car. Um, but it is what it is. 
Um, I, I hope this helps someone. Uh, remember to do all your torque settings on this. I don't think you can ever do this in the car. Um, it was a mission just to get this engine out of the car. I actually had to lift the body off the engine. I couldn't pull the engine out the top. It was a nightmare. But anyway, yes, so when I put the engine back, I'll put the engine on the floor and put the car body over it. Yes, but it's, um, it's actually quite simple. Actually quite simple and straightforward. I hope this helps someone. Be safe.